Are you ready? It's time! This is Takedown Wrestling Radio. Takedown, America's college coaches. America's wrestlers. America's fighters. Let's go over the ground rules. Rule number one. No touching of the hair or face. Of course. And that's it! Now let's do this! The greatest MMA stars of all time. Bow to your senses. The greatest wrestlers of all time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Live from our studios in Des Moines, Iowa at 1460 KXNO. Let's get it all! This is Takedown Wrestling. <laughs> Ah, uh, good morning, everybody. It is Takedown Wrestling. Fight Now TV presents Takedown Wrestling from our Brute Studios here in Des Moines, Iowa. Takedown is proudly presented by Kemen Inspired Molecular Solutions. Congratulations to uh, Jeff Murphy's daughter, uh, who I, I got the pleasure to, to go out and see a 1,368 pound steer that she hand raised, bottle fed, and hand raised, and uh, and showed. Man, what a beautiful looking animal! Good job, good job. And uh, Jeff Murphy, what a dad. And Kemen, what a company. Inspired Molecular Solutions. Today, Kurt Backus is, is off. We'll be back uh, first Saturday of August. Brad Johnson pushing the buttons, producing today, as always, making us look good. Also executive producer of the TV show. And uh, next week's television show is going to be absolutely loaded. One-on-one -on -one with uh, Michael Chandler, who just got an eight-fight Multi-million dollar extension to his contract. It's about time. The undefeated light uh, lightweight champion for Bellator uh, will now be, uh, I think, fully vested in this company. I think he probably owns a piece of CBS. So good job by Michael Chandler. We'll also be talking with Mike Moyer uh, live. And um, let's see, one more. Coy Cooper. So I think we have three lives uh, for next Tuesday's uh, uh, 5 o'clock or 4.30 broadcast on Mediacom and and, uh, of course, Cablevision, check your local listings. And and uh, let's remind them, go to TakedownRadio.com. You can watch it anytime you want. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people do. Um, un, 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 we're not sure what's going on with the counters on YouTube, but YouTube counters are, are not uh, certainly uh, registering everybody that's watching, which is, is kind of an amazing thing. Uh, by the way, today uh, we're going to start our promotion with the UFC. We're going to be giving away UFC DVDs, so you're going to want to stay tuned. We've got... Uh, uh, we're taking you up to UFC 163, uh, the Korean Zombie versus Jose Aldo. So we've got uh, some great DVDs to give away. We're going to give away a weekend for two uh, to Wild Rose Casino and Resort in Emmitsburg, Iowa. Uh, that'll be a $200 plus value. So you want to stay tuned for that. Call in numbers, just so you know, 2845966. And, uh, What's the other one, Brad? It's 866-333-5966. All right, we start this program off with a great friend of ours. Uh, he's a uh, leader of our sport, wrestled at Hofstra. Uh, he's an international businessman. Uh, he can trade precious metals with the best of them. Nobody knows the commodities markets better than Noel Thompson. He joins us now. Noel, how are you? How are you, Scott? Good morning, Happy sir. I'm, I'm surprised you weren't at ancient Olympia in Greece for the competition <laughs> that took place. Just, you know, the last time they had wrestling at that location was 393 A.D. I and, know. That, that was a, that was, um, a historic, historic moment. And trust me, I I wish I was there, but, you know, I was I was here running the business. So it, it was, um, you know, it was, the, the timing didn't work out. But uh, the Nod Lalovich... Uh, definitely carried, carried, carried it on, and and you know showed why um, he's one of the greatest leaders in our sport. U.S. won eight medals there, and athletes got to wrestle on the grounds for the first time. And how about this? Uh, women for the first time ever got to wrestle at ancient Olympia. It just shows you how the sport is growing, not only on an international level, but within the Olympic movement itself, right? Absolutely. I think um, as as humans evolve through time so does wrestling and i think um in sport so you're seeing that evolution of you know our women being able to compete you know in ancient olympia it's such historic ground and you know where pierre de corbatant who is a father of the modern day olympics you know all sports for all people as he said mm. and you know it's great to see and embrace our female athletes and college ball comrades around the world I said that Dan Gable uh, is a busy man, but he is challenging you 
uh, for the most number of appearances on behalf of Olympic wrestling. And he has stepped it up. Dude has stepped it up and uh, actually is going to be taking a small vacation with his entire family. I think all 20 some people are going to be gathering, but, uh, so you'll have a chance in August to, uh, to go ahead of Gable again. So, uh, you, uh, let me tell you something. I, 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 first of all, Gable's a friend and I want to keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't, you know, I don't care about the gold medal when it comes to Gable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I would, I'd want to beat Gable. You know, that's the competitor in me. I want to beat him always. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the CPOW, the committee for the preservation of Olympic wrestling. There's a lot going on in the world of wrestling and here with that Olympic update is Noel Thompson. Noel, what is is, uh, what, what's on the front burner right now? What's going on with CPO? Well, I think we have tremendous momentum. And, um, you know, Scott, you've been following this from the beginning. And this leadership has really come together. And grassroots effort from the United States has really come together. I mean, I think every man, woman, and child in America, whether wrestler or non-wrestler, is focused on helping wrestling get back into the Olympic Games. Um, it started in February, and now, you know, we're in the the final stretch in July. Uh, we just came off a great event on Mount Olympus in Olympia. We came off of an unbelievable presentation in St. Petersburg by our team that just delivered a, a, a rock star uh, presentation to the executive board. Um, in New York, we had uh, IOC UN event where Jacques Rogue and, and all the top um, 30 IOC folks were pretty much in town, so I had a chance to attend that event with uh, Ban Ki Moon was there as well as representation of the United Nations. And now we we're, 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 we have about 43 days until it's it's showtime in Buenos Aires. Um, we have a couple other um, big um, push things come under our sleeve that I think um, the rest of the community is going to like um, towards the end of. Uh, August before we head into Buenos Aires, and uh, I love the momentum. I think um, we're we're staying in our stance. Third period, thirty seconds to go, and we're still on the attack. So I think um, it, it's just a tremendous effort by folks like you who cover it, folks uh, USA Wrestling who's been working very hard, CPAL committee, um, FILA. I mean, or the Russian Federation. I mean, everyone really joining hands and. You know, and it shows you how important social media is, TV, radio, sure. really utilizing and all our resources to market the sport, to get the sport front and center. New rule changes, um, you know, new leadership, new faces, pure energy, you know, promoting our heroes, you know, our women. So I, I think it's, um, I'm very proud and happy. You know, to be a part of the greatest sport known to mankind. Are you? I gotta believe you're excited too with the announcement. Yet another college is adding the sport, and they're adding men's and women's at the same time. And I've often said over the years that if wrestling wanted to right its ship collectively here stateside um, as a as a collegiate offering, they would wherever men's wrestling was, they would add a women's team right away. And I understand there's a difference in the styles. Uh, where no, where, I agree. I I agree. I think. Um, what you're going to see is, you know, the United States utilizing Title IX to our advantage. Right. Um, by utilizing that rule created to empower us to create more opportunities for women. I mean, the sport is wrestling. It's not men's or women's wrestling. The sport's wrestling. So, you know, there's no doubt you're going to see NCAA Division One wrestling soon, and it's only going to help um, grow wrestling in America. Um, there are over 5,000 women in America that wrestle. That's amazing. So it's, 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 it's natural. And they're natural good. Wrestling. A lot of them are really, really good. They're not all like Elena Periskova good, but they're getting better every day. Yeah, she, she's good. She wrestles for tight Mercury. She's, she's real tough. Ooh, <laughs> yes. Let me tell you something. Her, Alyssa Lampy, uh, uh, um, uh, Gosh, we can go back to well. Even how about the young Tamara Mensa, sixty-seven kilos? Oh uh, my God, she's tough. Yeah, she's 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 yeah. And Miss Williams, kind of yeah, Serena Williams, kind of uh, athlete. Dude, she's real tough. Yeah, it just keeps on going until Dad says stop. Helen, Mar that's a Serena Williams joke. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, didn't think I knew my tennis, yeah, did you? Fine. Yeah, yeah. This is not the battle of the sexes, Bobby Riggs, <laughs> Billy Jean King. No, sir. All right, our guest, uh, Noel Thompson, uh, one of our true wrestling leaders. He is the leader of our women's team, by the way, uh, for 2016. He'll be uh, uh, continuing to make appearances around the world on behalf of our sport. The ultimate goal, of course, is in approximately 45 days. Uh, they'll be taking yet another vote, and it will be the final vote. And why is this particular vote, Noel, and, and fill our listeners in, why this vote is so important? What What's on the line? Well, what's on the line is that our ability to be a part of not only the 2020, but 24 Olympic, 2024 Olympic Games. So just to walk our viewers through how it's going to take place, um, there will be a vote on a new president for the IOC. There will be a vote on new IOC members. There will be a vote for which country hosts the Olympic Games for 2020, which it seems it's either going to be Turkey, Spain, or Japan. Those are the three. And Japan is like an odds-on favor, right? Uh, you know, it's, I, I think, you know, the violence in Turkey is, um, in my, and this is my opinion, has, has made it a little bit more challenging. But I also think Japan is the easy um, decision. I think the hard decision is to go somewhere new like Turkey and being the first Muslim nation in the world. Um, to host uh, the Olympic Games. So I think there's a lot more at play than just um, just the safe and easy decision. I just think there's also a little politics in the sense of legacy um, in regards to ha being the first to, to do something. Either one is but, good for us, by the way. Oh, it does, yeah. I, it, there's no, um, the host country doesn't um, have a, a choice in what sport they have. So either way, it doesn't um, really matter to us um, at this point in time. But what does matter is we, it's going to be us, wrestling, squash, and uh, softball, baseball combination um, to, to go into um, the 2020 Olympic Games. And I feel very confident. Um, and I feel very good about our efforts that's been laid out in our positioning and our lobbying efforts that we will, at the end of the day, get the takedown. I, I get the takedown. Listen to you, how you wrap up the, the interview. I, my my vote, by the way, is for wrestling, but if I could vote for two, I'd vote for uh, wrestling and squash. Uh, squash has presented itself as a very viewer-friendly uh, sport, still a little difficult to follow, but um, uh, for some, it's uh, it would be a great well, sister is, sport. Is it, there's, there's some tremendous differences in the sense that I think um, wrestling not only for its tradition and it's truly it's a truly a global sport global sport um, and goes back to what Pierre de Corbetton said all sports for all people um, squash is more of an elite um, sport so yes. it's not for all people so it misses that portion of it um, when the Olympics were created in ancient times, it was for all people, all sports for all people. The only sport out of the three that encompasses that is wrestling. Well, all sports for all people, and Noel Thompson is a man for all seasons. Uh, he's joined us <laughs> today on behalf of Thompson Global, uh, one of the leading uh, financial leaders in, on Wall Street, wrestling leader for Team USA, part of the international wrestling uh, community, and very, very he is so fond of this sport. I'll tell you what, he has uh, sacrificed so much in order to be a part of this uh, uh, this revival and movement, the Committee for the Preservation of Olympic Wrestling and USA Wrestling. Noel, we appreciate your input. Are we working together in, in August down in Georgia? Yes. I'll, yeah. be, um, I'll be down, um, as of now, I'll be down in Georgia for the Rally for Wrestling. Um, and I think it's, it, I, I really want to talk about this a little bit in the sense that you know, it's about time we start to have a send-off for our athletes. That's right. So, you know, our athletes go to world championships and come back, and there's no celebration. They, people need to know that there's something big happening, meaning our greatest athletes in America are going, you know, to compete in the world championships. And Andy Barth, John Bartis, Wayne Boyd, you know, some of the folks who are involved in 
making that happen. I mean, it's, it's a good way to start for us to start to do that every year. That's right. Where in which we're it's like sending off our troops to battle, um, and and really have that celebration. And then uh, I'll also be in um, Argentina, so I'll, I'll be there, and hopefully maybe we'll do a call right after. We'll see. Maybe we'll do the show live there. Heck with the call. <laughs> I like that. That's what I'm talking like about. That. Noel Thompson bringing it. Noel, thank you so much. God bless you, my friend. Appreciate the update. Bye. We'll talk to you soon. That's a man that uh, is headed to the Hall of Fame at some point. He is that good. Noel Thompson, wrestling leader. This portion of our show brought to you by the UFC. Get the UFC 163. as featherweight champion Jose Aldo takes on the Korean zombie Chan Sung Young. In one of the most anticipated battles of 2013, former light heavyweight champion Leota the Dragon Machida will face off against Phil, Mr. Wonderful Davis. Order UFC 163, Aldo versus Korean Zombie on pay-per-view live Saturday, August 3rd, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 o'clock Central. We'll be back. Stay tuned. Jake Herbert's waiting in the wings. What has this Olympian got to say? We'll tell you when we return. Takedown Wrestling is brought to you by the Greater Des Moines Convention of Visitors Bureau and by the National Wrestling Hall of Fame in Stillwater, Oklahoma and Waterloo, Iowa, where wrestling's history comes alive. 